بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Good morning to everyone Welcome to today's lesson for the third intermediate grade second term The book is full blast and the lesson will be 4D going abroad and today we are going to deal with the skills the vocabulary and speaking This lesson was prepared and will be presented by Faisal Al-Ghamdi. By the end of today's lesson, you should be able to identify some vocabulary related to gestures, to speak about gestures used in different countries around the world. So uh, today is going, we are going to deal with cultures and uh, greetings that are uh, included or that are uh, dealing with these uh, greetings uh, that are dealing with these cultures. All right. Now I want you to open your book, please. All right. Uh, so. okay. All right. I don't know what's the problem with the voice today. Uh, whatever, maybe I don't need it today. So uh, let's go to this uh, vocabulary. Yes, this vocabulary exercise. And uh, here, I want you to listen. Maybe uh, we don't have the sound, but um, maybe I can read it. Uh, anyway, we have to talk or to uh, match the pictures here with the words that are written in bold face. These sentences, as you can see, um, number one, Ted waved goodbye to Gordon. Which picture that uh, out of these eight pictures that talks or that indicate to this sentence? Number two, my grandfather hugs me whenever he sees me. I want you now to have a look at the pictures, the eight pictures that you have and try to guess which picture is talking about this sentence or showing this sentence. Number three, do people in your country shake hands when they meet or when they greet each other? Which one shows shaking hands? Number four. Hamid met his brother at the bus stop and they kissed each other on the cheek. So it's something related to your lips, kissing on the cheeks. Five. Harry nodded to show that he agreed with Mark. So which picture shows you that shows you shows you the nodding? Number six. Japanese people bow when they want to greet someone. Seven, there is Harry, said Liam, and he pointed to a boy who was walking past. Number eight, smile, I want to take your 
picture, smile. I think that you now know the answers of these pictures. So, which, pic which sentence is he talking about here? What does this picture show? Yeah, as you can see, there is a boy taking a picture of this boy. And usually, he will ask him to smile. Thank you. So this is number 8, B. You can see in the background, this seems to be Japan. And these two Japanese people are bowing to each other. So Japanese bow. So bowing is moving your body like this to greet somebody and this is very well known in East Asia. What about this picture? What are they doing? You can see these two men are shaking hands. They are shaking hands. So shaking hands is very well known in most countries around the world. So they are shaking hands. <coughs> Look at this picture. As you can see the arrow right here, that means that he is moving his head up and down. We usually use this movement to show that you agree with somebody or you understand the idea of the speaker. So this is what we call nodding. This is nodding. Look at this old man. What is he doing? He is hugging this boy. So this is what we call hugging. What about the picture F? In picture F, as you can see, this boy is pointing at. He's pointing to that boy. So maybe this is, this is Liam, as you can see. He's pointing to Harry to show this boy that this is Harry. So this is number seven. G, what are they doing? So you can see these two similar persons. Maybe they are brothers and they are kissing each other on the cheek. So they are kissing each other. So this is what we call kissing. These two men, maybe this guy is leaving, he's at the airport, and this guy is saying goodbye to him, but by moving his hand, this is what we call waving. This is waving. So this is number one, Ted waved goodbye to Gordon. Excellent. Now, Let's go to the speaking part of this lesson and maybe before that we can have a look at this. Yes. Now the speaking part is about talking in pairs and discussing with which gestures you often use with your family, friends, teachers, and strangers. How is this exercise going to be? When you meet somebody, when you just want to say goodbye to somebody, what would you do? Would you shake hands? Would you kiss him? Would you hug him? Uh, this usually differs from one country to another. So if you are in a, some country in the East Asia, you will do something uh, that you cannot do, for example, in North America or any other part of the world. Uh, imagine that you are a reporter, a reporter who works for media, for example, maybe a newspaper or a TV channel interview students uh, as if if you are number uh, if you are a so there should be student b and that you are interviewing him about a fire that broke out at a restaurant for example 
while he or she was there. Use some of the prompts below. For example, when I meet my friends, I usually maybe hug or I maybe wave to them. So this is maybe different from one part of the world to another. Um, I have some examples to show you and then we will be back to the workbook. Look at these examples right here. All right. When I meet members of my family I haven't seen in a long time, we usually hug because, you know, the family is, uh, members are usually close together, so maybe they can hug each other. Maybe this may not happen with some friends or colleagues from work or school. When I meet my friends, I usually shake their hands and wave when we say goodbye. So I wave to them. If I see my teachers, I will not shake hands. I will not hug them. I will just usually just say hello. I will just say hello. So these are some examples of doing this exercise. Uh, now I want you to go back to the workbook and there in the workbook we have some exercises to do. All right. Okay, this is page I think 114 and exercise A here we have a crossword and in this crossword you are going to write the words that uh, we, we mean by these definitions. What is the hairy part or the hairy parts on your face above your eyes? What do we call them? Think about that. To make an expression with your mouth to show that you are happy. So what is this? To greet someone by holding their hand and moving it up and down. What's the meaning of that? To move your hand from side to side to say hello or goodbye. Five, to move your head up and down to show that you agree with someone or with something. To say hello when you meet someone. What's the meaning of that? So, number one, write eyebrows, eyebrows. Number two, make make an expression with your mouth that is smiling very good to greet someone by holding their hands and moving it up and down that is shaking hands excellent to move your your hand from side to side to say hello or goodbye that is waving so wave yes number five to move your head up and down that is nodding. So the word is not. To say hello when you meet someone, that is greeting. So we can say here, greet. The answers. Uh, maybe they are a little bit scrambled. Okay, now it seems to be clear to you. 
eyebrows, eyebrows, number one. Number two, smile. Number three, shake hands. There's an edge here. I want to bunch something, maybe it's going to be lost. All right, yes, shake hands. Number four, wave. Five, nod. And number six, greet. These are the answers of exercise A. Now let's go to exercise B. And here you are going to choose the right word, the correct word in each sentence. We had to refuse our shoes or remove our shoes before entering the house. So before entering the house, you usually remove your shoes, not refuse. Refuse has a different meaning. It is the opposite of accept. Jack is very rude. He didn't owe my gift or accept my gift. You usually accept or refuse the gift. Are you familiar of this book or with this book? Familiar with. So the right preposition to be used with familiar is with. My friend offered me a gift or a host to welcome me. You don't offer hosts, you usually offer gifts. Edward offends me a lot of money or owes me a lot of money. When is he going to give it back? Yes, owes me a lot of money. Number six, whoever knows the answer, please raise your hand or point your hand. This is what we call raising the hand, raising the hand, the hand. Yes, the parents got very angry with their child's bad custom or bad behavior. The right answer is behavior. What's that on your forehead or shoulders? Did you hurt your head again? Forehead or shoulders? He's talking about the head. So he's talking now about the forehead. So this is what we call the forehead. Shoulder is this part of the body. Now I have some sentences and their responses. We are going to match the sentences with the right responses to them. I'm going to point this wall, uh, to paint this wall back, black, sorry. I'm going to paint this wall black. Number two, have you seen Sally and Linda lately? What happened when you fell off the chair. Four, I told them a joke, but nobody laughed. Are you going to visit your friend in Geneva? The answers are, everyone started laughing. I made a fool of myself. B, actually, I bumped into them on my way home today. C. Are you serious? It'll look horrible. D. No, I had to refuse the invitation. E. Maybe you've offended them in some way. Let's start with number one. I'm going to paint this wall black. What is the best respond or response to this? statement or to this sentence? Yes, I think. C. Are you serious? It'll look horrible. Number two. Have you seen Sally and Linda lately? Actually, I bumped into them on my way home today. What happened when you fell off the chair? Maybe A. Everyone started laughing 
I made a fool of myself. I told them a joke, but nobody, nobody laughed. Maybe you've offended them in some way. You're right. Are you going to visit your friend in Geneva? The answer, of course, is D. No, I had to refuse the invitation. And now I think that is for that is the lesson for today. I hope that you enjoyed our lesson and see you next time. Thank you.